Hey there, everyone. Jim here with Fantasy for the Ages, bringing to you another book blast today as I'm working through my journey of Stephen King. Again, I've read all of his old classic stuff, and I've read some of his newer things. But here and there, I missed books that he just kept pumping out, because holy cow, he's pumped out a lot of books. So I'm bringing a reaction on one that I just recently finished from a Buick 8. This is different. This is not your standard horror, suspense, thriller. This is just a story. Now, it's got some supernatural sci-fi-ish element to it. So it's still Stephen King. But really what's on display in From a Buick 8 is masterful storytelling. Taking regular people with regular lives where things happen. I mean, that happens in regular lives. It's not all lollipops and daisies. Things happen. Times are tough. And Stephen King takes some of those types of circumstances and turns it into a really powerful story of a young man on the cusp of adulthood who has lost his father, the rock of his world, the role model he looked up to, and how he is taken in and supported by the colleagues of his father. Because his father was a state trooper. And there's a brotherhood, a family. I mean, they're not all men. There's a sense of family here as they, the rest of the troop look at this young man and let him hang out, let him kick around the precinct, let him get involved in the things that were important to his dad. And that ends up leading to getting involved with this car, which is a bizarre story that we get told through flashbacks as basically the various police officers tell this young man the story of this car, which was extremely important to his father. This car that was just randomly abandoned and was towed to the police precinct because something's off. This is not your random everyday car. This is where we get into Stephen Kingville. This car is strange and apparently a portal to somewhere else. Where? Well, this is a book blast episode. I don't spoil everything. You would need to read it if you want to find out. I read it as an audio book. It was a great listen. It's not super long. Definitely entertaining. A different quirky sort of thing. Again, not really fantasy, not heavily sci-fi, but a little bit. I think you ought to check it out and see for yourself what I'm talking about. So Stephen King, from a Buick 8, it's worthwhile. Is it going to go down as one of my greatest classics? Stephen King, certainly not. Am I going to reread it? Nah, I don't think so. Am I glad I checked it out? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Well worth it. At least as I work through Stephen King. So there you go. From a Buick Gate. Something different. You might check it out. Likewise, you might check out all the other things on our episodes here on the YouTube channel. Like this video. Subscribe. Don't miss anything that we keep putting out and feel free to respond and let us know the kinds of things you like and the kinds of things you, you want more of. All right, that's where I'll leave you. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.